Good morning, guys. The skies are clear. It's a bright, sunny day. But I believe it's still going to be like in the 50s or something like that. So, I don't know. Uh, my son sent me a photo yesterday. They got some snow. And they're all it was at extra deep. But it was a good coating. So, I just want to say that um, I lost the four ounces because yesterday I was 195.4 so today I am 195.0 I am on even 195 so that's good to know um, so for now once again my body has slowed down with its weight loss and I'm just losing ounces again so the chances of me being 193 tomorrow which is my husband's birthday is very slim unless I jump a pound so I don't know. We will see. We'll we'll find out what tomorrow is. Um, so I want to uh, address an issue that uh, pertains to anybody who is bragging about losing more weight than somebody else. I'm just going to tell you right now, don't do that. That ain't fair and it's not right. If someone is struggling to lose weight then they need encouragement. They don't need to hear someone brag that they're losing more. Now, for me, you know, my weight either goes up a few ounces or it drops a few ounces or sometimes it even drops a single pound. But I'm still sticking with the rules, the rules that I have found in the ray down of just eating with hunger and fullness and not overeating, not indulging, and not binging. I'm still sticking with that. I'm still not drinking sodas and stuff in between meals. I only drink sodas and whatnot with my meal and any sweets and whatnot with my meal and not in between. That's how I'm losing weight. But I've got a sluggish thyroid. I have to take thyroid medication. So uh, plus, I'm also anemic. Those two can come against a person when trying to lose weight. So for me, if I have just a little more on my plate, just a little more, and I eat all of that, instead of giving some of the food to God, that can either cause me to be still in my weight loss, maybe only lose one ounce, or gain a few ounces. It all depends on what my body de well, on what my body's doing. Another thing, um, I've got, I'm not going to say weak kidneys, but um, if I don't drink a lot of water, then I don't urinate very much, and that ends up causing me to have fluid retention. So I have to keep up with the water as well to keep myself flushed out. That's something I'm having to do. I have to make sure to completely give everything over to God and trust Him with it and rely on the Holy Spirit to show me enough is enough on my plate or whatever I'm preparing for myself. The Holy Ghost is my guide. And that's how I'm losing weight. So if there's anybody out there who's bragging that you're losing more weight than another person, just don't. That is not right. You might have a, a decent thyroid with a decent metabolism and it doesn't take much at all for you to lose weight. So just don't, okay? Everybody loses weight at a different rate and speed and everybody has different issues that they have to deal with to lose the weight. For others, it's diabetes, and for others, it, it's uh, bad kidneys. For others, it's bad hearts. For others, it, it's uh, sodium retention. There's all kinds of factors that can cause a person to struggle with weight loss. For me, it's a sluggish thyroid. There's lots of people out there with sluggish thyroids. So for us who doesn't have a fast metabolism, we don't need a lot of food because our body doesn't take a lot of energy to, to do. 
my body does not take a lot of energy, serious. I have to take 130 milligrams of thyroid medication every morning. I have got a very, very, very low thyroid, very low. And so therefore, if I eat a certain amount, even though I eat within the hunger and fullness, if I eat with an, if I eat a certain amount within that hunger and fullness, it does cause me to gain weight because it does not take very much fuel at all from my body. I don't have a fast metabolism, so therefore it doesn't need much energy. It doesn't need much fuel. I guess you can say I've got a small fuel tank compared to others. Anyway, so stop bragging about your weight loss compared to others. Just stop. I can understand you being happy that you're losing weight. That is awesome. I'm happy about losing weight too. There's others that's happy about losing weight. And we can brag on ourselves for losing the weight. We can be tickled and promote our weight loss. But don't make it out like you're some great person that has everything and you've got it all working right. Don't do that. For me, I have said that now I am set free. I no longer deal with stress and hassles for weight loss, and I don't, all because I gave it all to God. And I've been trying to encourage others, no matter whatever plan they're on, if there's something that they're struggling with in that plan and they want to stick with that plan, go on ahead and give that, that, that problem that they're dealing with in their weight loss plan, let them go on ahead and give it to God so that it can become easier for them, whatever that struggle is for them to give it over to him so that he can help them with that struggle that's going on in their weight loss, with their weight loss plan. Because he wants to work with everybody where they're at. He doesn't want us to struggle in anything. And he knows what we believe in in order to lose the weight, but he wants us to be able to trust him so that he can help us with that. So some people's on keto say that they're struggling with keeping a low carb in their diet. Or maybe they're struggling with getting enough fat. Or they're struggling with um, just enough proteins, not overdoing it on proteins. Whatever it is that you might be struggling with. And you can turn it over to God and ask Him to help you with that. And so therefore, you doing the keto is easier. You don't struggle with having too much carbs or, or not enough fat or, you know, whatever it is that you need to do with it. Um, if you're struggling with um, uh, bread, maybe, maybe you really absolutely love bread and you're struggling with that. But trusting God, He can help you with that. If you're on Mediterranean and... Um, Everything that goes Mediterranean happens to be uh, the way the Mediterraneans eat and say that there are certain foods that they don't eat but you really enjoy, but you're wanting to stick with the Mediterranean. Trust God. Let Him take care of that for you. That way you can stick with the Mediterranean diet and just eat what the Mediterraneans eat. The paleo, um, what I read about that is for a few weeks, it cuts you completely off certain foods and then slowly reintroduces you after you've got that down. And say that you're starting out with the paleo and you have gone gung ho about making sure not to eat the certain foods that's restricted for those first few weeks and you're struggling with that. Turn it over to God and ask Him to help you with that so that you don't give in to that because you're wanting to keep from doing that. It doesn't matter vegetarian ask God to um, and even vegan ask God to help you not eat or what foods you prefer not to eat in that particular diet and ask him to give you strength that's all it is so any brag that I may do if you all think that I brag any brag that I do all the bragging goes to God all of it I brag on him because it's him it's not in me I can't do it on my own I can't. I can't. I have tried so many times. I can't. I'm weak when it comes to doing it my own way. But all the bragging goes to him. I brag about God the Father because it's God the Father that's done it. Not me. God the Father. And he gives me strength 
every single day. The devil still fights me. On occasion, he'll tell me, oh, there's stuff back there. Go on ahead and get you some fun. Go on ahead and give in. And I have to just plant my feet. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Because I don't want to ever go back to binging again. I don't want to ever go back to overindulgences and overeating again. And I tell God that every day. I don't want to go back. I'm not going back. And through his strength, because I'm more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ who strengthens me, I don't have to go back to my old ways. And the same way with you. If you're choosing to make a certain diet your lifestyle, then you don't have to go back to your old ways either. Just keep God on your side. Don't lose focus on him. He is our rock. Even for weight loss, no matter what plan you're using, he is our rock. So don't let go of him. Don't let go of him. I know a lot of yins have said lots of times that you trust God for your weight loss. And that's the way to go. That is the way to go. No matter what plan you're on, keep trusting him. Don't lose that focus on him. And any struggles that you have in your diet plan, ask him to take care of that so that it's no longer a struggle for you. And it's that simple. So braggers, quit. Go on ahead and promote your weight loss and be tickled that you're losing weight. But stop bragging and making it seem like you have got everything. That you've got it all. Stop acting like that because others, they have their ups and downs. I have my ups and downs. So stop it. Stop it. If you want to promote your weight loss, if you want to brag that you've lost weight, at least be honest enough to tell what your struggles are. Okay? At least be good enough to do that. I have told you today that my struggles is if I have a little bit too much on the plate and I give in and eat that. Because maybe I'm not feeling full yet and I go on ahead and eat that. I discovered that um, even though, like with my homemade chili, when I make it, I actually gain a pound and hover on that, and I eat small bowls of it, but apparently there's a lot of energy in chili, apparently, because, you know, uh, legumes is an energy, and protein is an energy, and so I guess um, chili is a very high energetic meal <laughs> so next time I make chili I am gonna to have to give myself an even smaller serving because my body can't process that much energy it doesn't have the metabolism heat to do so and you know I, I keep saying for people to stop bragging and acting like you've got everything and I guess in some ways I've acted like I have because I keep saying how that I no longer have the cravings, I no longer binge, I no longer, you know. And yes, that is true. I don't. I'm being honest with you all. I'm not bragging. I'm being honest with you all. I no longer have cravings. Yes, yeah, Satan comes in my head and says, go on ahead and go back there and eat such and such. But I don't crave it. But now if I was to give in to him, then he'd convince me again and again and again. And then next thing I know, I would start binging again. So I have to say no the first time. But I don't have any more cravings. I honestly don't. And I honestly don't overeat no more. Um, at least not overstuffing. I do try to pay close attention to my stomach and sometimes I end up feeling like I might have ate a little bit too much. So when my next hunger comes around, I make sure not to do that again. I have to pay attention to my body. And that's the one thing that Grin Shamlin had ever said in the way down for you to pay attention to your body, for you to listen to it. And that's what I still have to do. And with the Holy Spirit being my guide, it's easier. It's a lot easier. Um, so, yeah, it might seem like even I brag. I brag on God. 
I brag on God because he's the one that's doing it. I brag on him. Um, and it is hassle-free for me because I can't stand logging food. I can't stand counting calories. I can't stand that. I can't. I, I hate it with a passion. So doing the hunger and fullness and completely trusting God works for me. It works for me. And, you know, others, and I've told you this before, that whatever plan you're on, if there's a certain food restriction, then fine, and you can still do what I said, the ray down, but I'm not necessarily doing the ray down anymore now anyway. I'm just, I have, I guess you can say I've let go of the ray down, and I've just continued on my journey with God alone. I don't need Grin Shamlin anymore. I'm just I'm letting God be the captain of my ship. And, you know, uh, I'm trusting him. I'm, I'm the crew member. And the orders that he gives me is what I do. So my weight loss is only his success, his glory, his praise. It's not me. It's him. I also want to uh, pray for my sister in Christ, Melanie Hind. Um, I understand right now she's kind of gone to a plateau and a standstill. And um, losing weight is an emotional roller coaster. It really is, especially when you start gaining weight and you know that you're doing everything right. It's an emotional roller coaster. And I know Melanie, she is a stickler to the rules. She doesn't, she does a backslide. And when she does, she quickly recovers. So I want to pray for her right now because she's been successful with her journey. She's doing keto and she has been successful so far. 20 pounds and a lot of inches, a lot of inches. She looks fabulous. And I want to see her continue to be successful. So let's go on ahead and pray for her right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I put Melanie into your hands, Lord God, that she doesn't feel discouragement, but that she continues on, Father God. She has come so far in her weight loss journey, and you have been her strength, Father. So help her to get off of this plateau and for her body to continue paying attention and letting go of the fact that she has been holding on to, Father. Help her body to release the fact so that she continues to lose the weight and that she continues to be successful and that she can continue to be a keto pioneer for others who are struggling with their diets, Father God. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing my sister. Thank you for blessing her and giving her strength. And if anybody is coming against her in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I ask that you put your hand up and that you stop them from coming against her any further. In Jesus' precious holy name, I thank you, Lord. Amen. And that goes for the rest of you who's struggling and on a plateau. Yes, I put Melanie up. But I'm also lifting that prayer up for everybody else who is struggling. Whatever plan it is that you're on, no matter what plan it is, that God gives you the strength and the encouragement to continue. And that you get off of that plateau and that your body continues to release the fat that it's held on to. And that you are successful, no matter what diet plan you're on. I don't care if it's keto, Mediterranean, South Beach, whatever. I don't, I don't care. Whatever plan it is, if you're struggling and on a plateau, my prayer not only isn't, it, it's not just for Melanie Hine, but for everybody else. And those of you who brags that you're losing more weight than so-and-so, just stop. Just stop, okay? Because everybody loses weight at a different speed. Some of us are slower than others, so just quit. It's wonderful that you're losing weight, and I'm not telling you stop losing weight. Keep going at it. Keep losing that weight. But stop making it seem like you're the only one who can. 
okay? So, I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.